cooking, Appa. Hi, this is cooking, Appa. Today, Appa is going to make ikan baka at home since we can't really go out and eat. It's actually not difficult. Make the sambal, fry the fish, put the sambal on top of the fish. That's all. And if you have some okra, some sting bean, you can also add it in. Yeah. So um, today I have a 600 grams of uh, snapper here. I have washed it, uh, cut off the fins, the tail, and also marinated with uh, salt and also turmeric. Yeah, this is why you see the fish is yellowish in color. Then uh, what do we need for uh, the uh, sambal? So this is approximately few pieces of big chili here, depending on the size of your chili. Yeah, this is about one cup, one bowl, sorry, about one bowl of red chili. The chili I'm using is the pep, uh, screw pepper. Yeah, basically, it's, it, it, it is super huge, but not spicy at all. Just nice for my family. Uh, if your family like to eat spicy, of course you can eat, you can use chili party to mix together, right? So this is about one cup of um, chili here. You can desist, up to you. And then I have uh, two cloves, two shallots and also this is a uh, lemongrass yeah the, the bottom part of the lemongrass to to make your your sambal chili to to become even more fragrant we will be, we'll be adding some uh, seafood here this is actually the dried shrimp about one tablespoon of it rings in uh, underwater this is approximately one big tablespoon of uh, toasted blachan when i say toasted meaning after you bought the blachan you can actually just peel off a small piece and uh, dry roast it, yeah? pan fry it without any oil in your pan to, to become powder form. So it will become very fragrant. Lachan powder, very important ingredient. And you will need about one tablespoon of turmeric powder here. Of course, you can also use even better if you can use the raw turmeric. Uh, I don't like using that because very difficult, very, very difficult to wash. <laughs> <laughs> All my plate will be will be uh, yeah very difficult to wash. So anyway, I use powder. And this is actually also very important. I went downstairs just now to uh, take a banana leaves. Banana. Uh, don't think of banana leaves as a, a decorative. It actually gives your ikan bakar the special aroma. So if you do your ikan bakar without um, banana leaves, seriously, it, it, it really tastes different. You won't have the taste that you taste at the restaurant or the kopitiam. Okay, banana leaf, go and get it. And uh, yeah, that's all. And then of course, we will give it some, a bit of seasoning here and there with some um, salt and sugar and stuff. Remember to click subscribe and notification button for more Appa's video. So let's start with blending all the stuff together. Some people ask Appa, Appa, if I use the model on pasta, is it going to be better? Yes, for sure, if that is going to be better. Yeah, but. Appa is lazy, so I'm going to use this. Also, Appa stays in a condominium. If you use motor and pestle, my neighbors is not going to be very happy. Okay, put in the chili. I always like to make extra chili so that I can keep for to eat with my white rice later. So in order to uh, ease the blending process, I'll be adding some oil here. You can also add water, but don't add too much water. I will add a little bit of water inside. Not too much. Let's blend it first. my kitchen okay we have this then I'm going to add in the turmeric powder the sambal oh sorry the blachan powder and also the dried shrimp which is rinse And I'm going to give it a bit of salt. And a little bit of sugar. Right. 
all the ingredients I use, I will put inside the ingre uh, video description or video caption. Okay, you can look for it. And and the equipment they are using. Because a lot of people has been asking. fast it is basically done what we need the next step is to uh, saute this saute your sambal okay the thing about sambal is a lot of oil at least four or five tablespoons to start with don't worry about the oil seriously the oil is going to help you to keep your sambal even uh, longer in the fridge later if you can't finish it today And you don't have to wait until your oil is heated up. You can actually put in in the cold oil. Whoa, very fragrant. I wish you can smell this. Oh, love this. Apart from sambal person, let me clear my kitchen top. Always cook and clear your kitchen top at the same time. So you won't add up a lot of things to wash at the end of the day. Get some uh, good habit in the kitchen, right? Can you see? Okay, good. Okay, you can use a uh, medium heat to slowly saute this um, for a minimum, I would say, five to eight minutes. But you need keep on stirring. Uh, it would be good if you easier if you use a non-stick like what I'm using right now. You will notice the color will get darker and darker as you saute it, yeah? As you cook it. Whoa, super fragrant, my goodness. Some will actually add some uh, 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 tamarind or asam. Up to you. That is, uh, to me, is uh, optional. I don't mind adding later if I want to, yeah? <laughs> All right, keep on stirring. All right, I decided to add some asam. This is the asam puree I'm using. Why it's always good to use a puree because there's no seed inside. You just use a teaspoon to scoop it up and put it in. That's all, very, very simple, very fast. Like I said, all the ingredients I use, I will actually put in the description. You can see, uh, definitely, the color is turning darker and darker. Okay, let's continue for the next few minutes. We'll come back shortly. Okay, this is after about five minutes. I'm gonna add in a bit more sugar. Okay, you can adjust to taste meaning get the flavor you wanted and a little bit of light soy sauce the light soy sauce is going to give it a bit of color uh, don't add too much salt inside because the heavy the dried shrimp is very salty yeah? alright See how beautiful it is? If you find it's too so dry, feel free to add more oil. I'm going to um, saute this for another couple of minutes, then it's done. All right, this is after about eight, maybe eight, nine minutes sorting. The color is getting darker and darker, nicer. And it's basically done. You can start seeing the oil, meaning the oil started to break, yeah? Okay, the sambal is done. Then we can uh, set it aside and we will, we shall start frying the fish. Okay, get a pan or wok, put in the oil.
and the banana leaves. And get the banana leaves. Maybe I cut it into two. We are going to uh, fry it and bake it at the same time. Put in the banana leaf, some oil, put in the fish. And close the lid. Where's my lid? Okay, it will take probably somewhere plus minus about 10 minutes we will flip it flip it over a few minutes later and i will decide whether i need to uh, change replace a new uh, banana leaf or not yeah we will decide uh, because the banana leaf will definitely get burned later and you're seeing all these uh, fumes releasing from the banana leaf this is exactly what is going to make your uh, your ikan baka taste really really fragrant right so the banana leaf here is actually very important we'll come back shortly so this after about the first three minutes. Ooh, already got the ikan baka smell. <laughs> okay, I'm going to change a new set of banana leaf. Up, up definitely cannot say we can back out outside. Every time I change the banana leaf, everything looks so messy in my kitchen. Okay, let's continue frying. Okay, this is after the second three minutes. I'm using medium high speed, yeah. Now I can smell a little bit of chow ta, yeah. That's exactly what the the kind of ikan baka flavor that we want to smell. Uh, now I can actually. Let me open this. The fish is almost done. We're just going. We just need to uh, put in the sambal. If you have some calamansi, you can also prepare the calamansi or lime. I think Apa doesn't have any today. I am saving this for the, uh, some other day. Close the lid again. Give it another two to two minutes. Then the whole fish should be ready. All right. This after another three minutes. So the total cooking time with lid on somewhere around nine minutes plus minus. Pick it up. Get ready a serving plate at the side. Move this over to my serving plate. Off the fire. Alright, that's it. Within 15 minutes, you're, you have for one very nice ikan bakar. Is it 15 minutes? Or oh, probably more, I forgot to calculate 
the sauteing of the sambal thai. <laughs> All right, within definitely within half an hour. Okay, we have some very nice ikan bakar at home. All right, I hope you like my video. If you like my video, do share my video on your Facebook to your friends. Come to Cooking Apa Facebook fan page to click like and follow button. Follow Apa on Instagram and subscribe to Cooking Apa YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Bye bye.